what a day. So we migrated from Urban Outfitters to another location that sold enslavement. They, show, they sold sheepskin. They actually had the skin of sheep hanging from branches of a tree outside their murder business. A lot of oppression support, a lot of smiling. Some people, they, they looked and they were, they were saddened by what they saw, the images that they saw on our po posters. There were a couple of people who, they came up to us and they're like, I don't understand how people pay for this. But there were a lot of people walking past in favor of the murder that was being sold. Um, a couple of people actually came up to us. They knew the oppressor that was selling the skins and they were concerned about his business and I guess the attention we were gonna to bring to his business and worrying about him losing his business. Nothing about the babies though, nothing about the oppression and the animal abuse and the violence though, none of that. Um, the owner came out and tried to explain, I guess defend himself. He, he, he thought that taking skins from, I guess he called it a waste stream. Basically the industries that sell sheep flesh, the byproduct, their skins. Basically, he collects it from a trash, and he thinks that that's okay. He has no hand in, in violence because he it's secondhand ab abuse. <laughs> Can't believe this is the mind frame of people. Someone's torment, someone's misery. It's not a GQ moment. It's not a runway moment. It's not fashion. It's not you looking good. It's not you looking pretty. It's not you looking handsome. You're actually looking pretty ugly out here. Pretty evil. Pretty cruel. It's disgusting. So many different materials you can buy. So many different other companies you can buy from. No one has to suffer for you, man. Entice, so nice. They ripped it, then they take it, then they use it. Their skins are not theirs, cause that jacket, you had to have it. Can't live without it.